Hi, and welcome to another Decred news update. We are on the brink of Decred's biggest release in years, the 1.6 release. This release will bring about privacy, the Lightning Network, and it will decentralize the Decred treasury, making Decred one of the biggest decentralized autonomous organizations in crypto. The treasury as of this video is worth about $37 million and increasing by the day in this bull market. We are also seeing the highest stake participation ever seen in the project with over 55% of Decred staked in the Decred proof of work, proof of stake mining system. The fact that so much Decred is being staked while we are in a bull run just shows how much confidence there is in the protocol. And with that said, let's move on to development updates. Decred release candidate version five is here for testing. This release candidate mainly has under the hood improvements, fixing various bugs and other discovered oddities, as well as general polishing. In the privacy tab, users can now send all available funds from their default account to unmixed account by pressing a newly added button. This makes the process of mixing your Decred even easier. The What's New section of Decrediton also has been updated to show the 1.6 features. Wallet translations have also been updated. Users can now turn off UI animations to make the wallet much more snappy when changing between tabs. Decred developer Marco Piraboom says there is more on the way for 2021, with two exciting things planned for this year. Remember, Decred has the ability to change its consensus code via stakeholder vote and the project treasury to fund new development. Things will be built and added to Decred not just in the next year, but in the decades to come. With the treasury increasing so much in value, I hope this attracts outside developer talent and we can start seeing more and more proposals on Politea. A development pre-proposal from Dex developer Buck has arrived called Decred Echo, a GUI application manager for Decred. The goal of Decred Echo is to be a one-stop Decred application manager, which automatically stays up to date and allows users to launch Decred applications such as Decred's wallet to Crediton, the Dex, and other Decred software such as ticket splitting. Other apps can be expected as the Decred project is constantly growing and expanding. Imagine a Decred-based version of the popular gaming platform Steam, where all of your apps are constantly updated and ready to launch with minimal user tinkering. Bux is a working prototype is done for Linux and Windows is in process. The timeline and costs are nine to 12 months until completion and an ask of $59,800. I will leave a link in the video description for those who want to read more about Decred Echo. Taking a look at privacy stats, over 29% of Decred in circulation has been actively mixed. That's over 3.5 million Decred, and release 1.6 has not even arrived yet. Speaking of privacy, Edward Snowden was again talking about Bitcoin's lack of privacy features, despite being in existence for 11 years. Unfortunately, the Bitcoin network uh, as it exists does not provide the privacy protections uh, really necessary for these kind of transactions at scale. Uh, and I think it should, and it could, and it's clear to me that the developers uh, realized this should be done for whatever reason. However, when we're talking about Bitcoin improvement proposals, they haven't actually moved to do this, which is puzzling to me because now they've had uh, years to do it. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not uh, picking winners and losers. Uh, I, I don't have a uh, horse or care or concern as to who wins this beyond, I think, uh, what the world needs, what we need is a truly independent means of enabling private transactions. My big question is, uh, why are you guys taking so long? Right. If Edward Snowden wants to hold money that is both upgradable and has privacy features, he should probably look into Decred. We also saw lots of community activity in the form of podcasts and videos. I went in there and just did my standard scan through all of the on-chain metrics and basically everything was at all-time high, right? Transaction volume, staking volume, amount staked, uh, coin mixing in a day, uh, obviously the DCI, DCI DEX and LN are going to be at all time highs. Um, I was looking, there, there's on chain metrics for Decred that are all time high, left, right, and center. It's actually very impressive. So even I was taken aback by the, the magnitude of it. You know, you were looking for that uh, stakeholder ticket buying. Well, we certainly got it. And I mean, it's crazy, right? Like the percentage of supply in the ticket pool now is at all time highs. And you know what's insane about all this is that all these all time highs are getting pushed from an on chain perspective which is just, you know, larger stakeholder participation um, and, you know, natural bullishness on, you know, the DCR um, token is that this is all happening before 1.6 is even out. The owning absolute stake in the Decred DAO and the uh, DCR of viability becoming some sort of monetary asset, you know, it, it has legs. Let's see what happens in this bull market though, right? And um, I'm, I'm fairly sure that in uh, the next release, 1.7, which, you know, this is the great thing about Decred, right? 1.6 hasn't even come out yet, and there's already uh, work going on at 1.7. 
And you know, one of the things going to come into uh, into the wallets is going to be really, really clean multi-sig. And multi-sig ultimately is the backbone and really what makes um, UTXO chains very, very different from uh, you know to traditional money. Is you can have these elegant and unique custody solutions. And what's so fascinating about the, the on-chain space is essentially you get to see. You know, Nino, I love your saying about saying it's the objective truth. It just is what happened on the ledger. And the great thing about what happens on the ledger is that it's really, really expensive, right? Every single print, whether it's a, a, a difficulty adjustment, whether it's a, a hash, whether it's a, a transaction, whatever it is, right? Coin age, coins not being spent, coins being spent. All of those things are very, very deliberate actions. If you weren't looking at the Google search trends, if you weren't looking at the traditional media, if you weren't listening to the guys just you know drawing fancy pictures on charts, if you're actually looking at the data like Checkmate and Nino are doing, uh, you would have seen the indicators telling you everything you needed to know. And that's what on-chain analysis is. It is an evolution of what this space uh, needs in terms of analysis. Decred contributor Checkmate has released an amazing Decred walkthrough. So what Decred did with governance, rather than the rough consensus model, which is essentially where it's a Mexican standoff, you've got the miners, the users, the economic nodes, and the developers all arguing on Twitter and yelling at each other on GitHub, trying to work out what the code is, and the standard approach for rough consensus is no change unless there's global consensus. And what that means is it's generally a much longer, much slower, far more challenging and there is a, a lot of risk involved in rolling out network upgrades and they tend to take many many years not only for the debate and the discussion phase but then to actually implement so there's a, a long time layer to all of this the main reason that i think it's important to be looking at decred right now is decred 1.6 which is really the probably the biggest upgrade in decred's history is just on the horizon the community has lovingly named this thing Hidden Hydra because the hidden side is it captures the privacy element that's coming in and the Hydra is that it's going to essentially give Decred multiple heads and make it an unstoppable DAO. Decred project lead Jake Compaya was featured on Cointelegraph talking about the possible effects of a central bank digital currency takeover. He says cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Decred are fundamentally fairer systems than fiat currencies. So while CBDCs may adopt many cryptocurrency features, they cannot compete on fairness. This is due to cryptocurrencies having deterministic issuance schedules and self-custodied assets, whereas CBDCs are just digital fiat. Decred Arabia created an excellent educational video explaining Decred's hybrid consensus system. The Decred Arabia team has a proposal out to continue funding future work. More on that later in this video. Stake Podcast was very active producing new episodes, Eduardo even has a proposal out. More on that later in the video. What was it about, you know, Decred over the hundreds and thousands of others that you saw as this one could be worth holding for a decade? If you actually try to start using Bitcoin, you know, it's it's got problems. It's got problems that actually make it unusable to me. I don't want the person I'm sending to to be able to dig into my past transactions. It's just a deal breaker. Just because it was the first, I'm really pretty sure that it's not going to be the one. I think these problems that it's got are going to kill it. There was nothing close to Decred having the potential to actually cover all of those things. things Governance. Th things that we all know, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The team and the uh, incentive alignments. Um, how do you come to, you know... The, ba the, the ability to... Social. The ability to change the ability to adapt and the speed and and having a governance to to, to see through those changes and, and and that's it decred decred if not perfectly today but it's moving in that direction of being unruggable as interest in decred climbs in this bull market decred was the number three traded coin on the brazilian exchange novadax after Bitcoin and Ethereum. Paul Atea, Decred's public proposal system has a few new proposals up for discussion and vote. The Decred DEX development phase two proposal from ChapJC is here. Phase one of DEX development saw the completion and release of a minimal viable product version of the DEX, which has executed tens of thousands of DCR worth of trades via atomic swaps with no middlemen, no KYC requirements, and no trading fees. 
Phase 2 sets forth some well sought after objectives, such as smoother onboarding via the use of simplified payment verification, which will enable quick startups and greatly reduce disk based usage since users won't need to have full nodes to operate the DEX, the Crediton integration efforts to get the DEX added into Decred's main wallet, and support for more assets, namely Ethereum and its ERC20 token standard, which would make trading popular stable coins such as USDC and Tether possible. Bitcoin Cash and other Bitcoin forks will likely be added as well as they don't require too much development time. Other work for this proposal includes continued under the hood bug fixes, UI updates, and other product improvement as time passes. ChapJC says the expected delivery for these developments is six to nine months, with work split between three to four full-time developers. The total estimated cost is 245,000 US dollars payable in Decred and billed monthly via Decred's contractor management system. Certain initiatives that did not make the cut for this proposal, but could see work in the future are Monero swap compatibility, Lightning network integration, and a server mesh, which would bring decentralization to the next level. All in all, the comments were enthusiastic about the DEX release and the upcoming improvements proposed. One commenter writes, with the tighter KYC requirements and clamp down on privacy-oriented coins, this proposal could not come at a better time. The community appreciates and understands how important it is to be able to buy and sell Decred in a permissionless and truly decentralized manner. The next proposal is Decred in Depth Live from Eduardo Lima. Eduardo is taking the reins from Mr. Black and starting up a new season of Decred in Depth, Decred's informative podcast series. He says he will live stream 24 to 36 episodes with each episode post-produced and turned into a podcast. Furthermore, he will pull several smaller clips from the podcast in order to spread teasers on Twitter and other social media sites. He's asking $500 per episode to be completed over the course of 2021. He says the episodes will be live streamed for viewers to tune in as the podcast is happening, then later edited and uploaded to various platforms. Eduardo has been hosting his own Decred-focused podcast called Staked over the past four months, having a number of different guests on to talk Decred and cryptocurrencies in general. Commenters have been positive about the proposal, pointing out how important the Decred in Depth series has been for marketing and Eduardo's commitment for the Decred project, having already produced four months worth of content. Some concerns were mainly based on the format and the production quality. Eduardo says he will be handling Decred in Depth with more professionalism as compared to the Staked podcast, which is more freeform. Decred stakeholders can vote directly from their wallet by going to the governance tab. A new proposal from Amaruni titled Decentralized Credits, the digitization of money in state has arrived. Amaruni plans to author a book based on his studies of Decred in an economic context. Phase one of his work involved researching the Decred protocol, followed by a series of written articles which have become quite popular within the Decred community. His focus now is to study Decred as a monetary asset and as a DAO. His research articles will ultimately be published as a free book made available in PDF form as well as Amazon Kindle. Amaruni argues one of the key reasons Bitcoin is so successful is because of the amount of education material that draws people into the rabbit hole. Decred has a more complex design than Bitcoin, yet we have only a teeny fraction of the amount of education material. He is asking for a maximum billing rate of $2,000 per month payable in Decred over a 8-10 to 10 month period and $1,500 for finalization and publishing of the finalized book once completed. Commenters have been positive about the proposal, pointing to popular Bitcoin books as an excellent way to educate newcomers. When asked about his writing ability, Amaruni pointed out he was recently published in Bitcoin Magazine and Nasdaq.com. I will leave a link in the video description to Amaruni's Medium account where you can read all of his completed Decred work thus far. And finally, we have the Decred Arabia communications and content creation proposal from Arj. The purpose of this proposal is to increase the awareness, presence, and adoption of Decred in the Arabic region. This will be done via creating content in Arabic, hosting local events, and growing social media presence. Leading the proposal is Insaf Nori, who has been actively contributing to Decred via translations, content creation, and events. Zakaria will be contributing as a designer. He has made numerous Decred art, which you can find on Twitter. They say blockchain technology today is emerging in the Arabic world. The total budget is $6,200, lasting six months and payable in Decred. User feedback has been positive, praising the frugal budget and the hard work demonstrated by the proposer. Thanks for tuning into this week's Decred news update. Be sure to check out Decred.org if you'd like to learn more about the project. Decred is secure, adaptable, sustainable. Learn more at Decred.org.